Ever wonder why the planets in our solar system are named after gods? That tradition began with ancient mythologies, especially Greek and Roman. To the Greeks, the sky wasn't just a celestial map, it was a divine storybook. Each visible planet was associated with a powerful god, reflecting its movement and perceived influence. Take Ares, the god of war. The red planet, seen as fiery and aggressive, was named for him, later becoming Mars in Roman tradition. Aphrodite, goddess of love and beauty, was linked to the brightest planet in the sky, what we now call Venus. Zeus, the king of the bonds, inspired the name for the largest planet, which became Jupiter. Hermes, the swift-footed messenger god, matched the fast-moving Mercury. Even Cronus, the ancient titan father of Zeus, lent his name to Saturn, a slow, distant planet symbolizing time and age. While Uranus and Neptune were named later by modern astronomers, their roots still stretch back to myth. Uranus was the primal sky god. Neptune, Poseidon in Greek myth, ruled the seas, fitting for a deep blue distant world. These cosmic names weren't random. They reflected how the ancients interpreted the heavens, a blend of storytelling, religion, and early science. In the night sky, the gods still live, forever orbiting in silence, watching over the world they once ruled in myth.